Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be calculating the rate of a reaction using the gradient of a graph. In maths, to calculate the gradient, you need to do this. You need to find the change in the y-axis and divide that by the change in the x-axis. Now, I want you to pause the video and have a go at trying to calculate the gradient of the line given in the image on the left. Now, in this image, the change in the y-axis would be equal to 4. As you can see, we have 4 squares going down on our y-axis. Now, the change in the x-axis would be 2, as we have 2 squares going across where it meets the line. Now, to calculate the gradient, you would divide 4, the change in the y-axis, by 2, the change in the x-axis. So your gradient would be 2 in this example. In this video, we'll be focusing on two things. We'll be calculating the rate of a reaction at a specific time using the gradient of a tangent. We'll also be calculating the initial rate of a reaction using the gradient of a tangent. Here's an example from our previous video. Now, with this example, we're going to try to calculate the rate of a reaction at 15 seconds. First thing you do is draw a tangent that touches the curve at 15 seconds. Next, you'll connect the ends of the tangent to form a triangle. To calculate the rate, we'd use the equation, which would be the change in the y-axis divided by the change in the x-axis. In this case, it would be 60 minus 30 divided by 23 minus 6.1. Our rate is equal to 30 divided by 16.9, so our rate of reaction is 1.775, the unit centimeter cube per second. Here's an exam question for you to try. Get a sheet of paper, sketch the graph as shown here, and have a go at doing this question. It says, calculate the instantaneous rate of reaction at 170 seconds. Pause the video. Have a go, and then we'll go through your answer. The first thing you do is draw a tangent that touches the curve at 170 seconds. Next, connect the ends of the tangent to form a triangle. Then we would use our equation just as we would in maths to calculate gradient, which is change in the y-axis divided by the change in the x-axis. Here, it is 4.0 minus 3.2 divided by 240 minus 60. Our final answer is 0 0.004 grams per second. Here's another exam question for you to try. This one is slightly different from the one before. In this case, you're required to calculate the initial rate of reaction. Now the question reads, calculate the initial rate of reaction from when the tangent is drawn at the start for 1.00 mole per dm cube and for 0 0.50 mole per dm cube. Pause the video, observe the graph carefully and have a go. Now, we have two reaction represented here on this graph. The first one is for a solution of concentration 1.00 mole per dm cube. Now, if you look carefully on this graph, the tangent is already drawn for you and arrows to show the change in y and the change in x. Now, for the first reaction for 1.00 mole per dm cube, the rate would be equal to 80. As you can see, the change in y is 80 divided by the change in x, 30 seconds. And my answer, I've written it to three decimal places. So it is 2.667 centimeter cube per second. Now for the next reaction, 0 0.500 mole per dm cube, you use the red triangle. Again, change in y divided by change in x. So we have 80 divided by 60. In this case, the rate of reaction is equal to 1.333 centimeter cube per second.